This is the Disney dream. We're gonna take a full tour. You'll enjoy this tour because we're gonna take it deck by deck. The cool thing about it is, is that on most of the decks, we're gonna start from the front of the ship and make our way all the way to the back of the ship. That way you'll get an idea of where you are in the ship and how the ship is set up. My name is Jason. I hope you enjoy the tour. Let's go ahead and get started. Let's start up at the top. So all the way to the front of the ship is a sun deck, satellite sun deck. There is a little pool all the way to the front here where you can relax and refresh. If we look over the railing at the front of the ship, we can see the Vibe Team Club. There are two hot tubs right there. That's pretty neat. We'll take a look at that here in a little bit. Surprisingly, a lot of adults come on Disney cruises without children. The Satellite Sun Deck is a perfect place for adults to hang out. It goes all the way around the front of the ship. Now, if we take a right right here, we go in to the Concierge Sun Deck. This area is exclusive for guests who are booked in Concierge Suites. There is also a Concierge Lounge, which is down on the lower decks, which we'll take a look at here in a little bit. The Concierge Sun Deck is right here in the middle. Let's go back through Satellite Sun Deck, more toward the middle of the ship, and take a look at Currents Bar. Currents Bar became that special place that we like to go to after port. You can see from up here that it overlooks Quiet Cove Pool and the Family Zone. You also have excellent views of Castaway Cay from here. Castaway Cay is a destination where the dream always goes pretty much. You just jump on the little tram here, maybe grab some free barbecue, which is included, hang out on the beach, relax, catch some rays, and then head on back to the ship. Maybe stopping off at current Bar, like we like to do, and then head off to dinner. We're gonna go down a couple of decks from current Bar and take a look at Quiet Cove Pool. There is a bar right next to the pool, which makes it extremely convenient to grab a drink. This area is for adults only. And my son Eric did try to come over here to the hot tub and relax. And the gentleman who worked there told him that he had to leave. So it is strictly enforced. Right next to the pool bar is Cove Cafe, which serves every type of coffee along with hot teas, wine, champagne, spirits, and beer. It offers delicious snacks throughout the day. During breakfast, you can enjoy croissants, danishes, or fruit. In the evening, it's nice to grab a glass of wine and come on in and enjoy some of the prosciutto dried sausages, marinated olives, cheeses, and bread. This is also where you'll find the fastest internet. Let's head on up a deck and take a look at the family zone. So this area is more for smaller children. That's why it has the very small pool here. So they don't need a life vest and they can just kind of jump around and swim in the little pool here. So there's really nice sun areas over here as well. If you look over to the right, you'll see there's chairs under some shade. So you can relax and uh, just hang out with the little ones. Let's head on down the deck and take a look at one of the most entertaining places on the ship. Right here is where you're gonna find the main pools. So there's Donald's Family Pool and Mickey's Pool. There is a lot of entertainment and activities that take place in this area throughout the entire cruise. For example, during the day, they might have a movie right here on the big screen. At night, there might be a sporting event. Also, this is where the pirate party takes place. They cover the pools and put up the pool decks. Everybody dances and there is fireworks. Fireworks are a lot of fun. I highly recommend that if you go on a Disney Dream Cruise or a Disney Fantasy Cruise, you do not miss the fireworks because it is spectacular. And then of course, there is a dance party afterwards. Let's look on over to the right side where we'll find Mickey's Pool. So Mickey's Pool is in the shape of Mickey Mouse. You'll see the ears and the face. So here at Mickey's Pool, there is a small yellow side for smaller children. There is also the big aqueduct slide, which goes around the entire deck. It's pretty cool. You just grab a raft and jump on. To ride the aqueduct alone, you must be at least 54 inches in height. If you're not 54 inches in height, to ride on the front, you have to be at least 42 inches in height. 
Remember, on this slide, you can double up on the wraps. Here at the main pool area, there is a hot tub. And if we go straight ahead from the hot tub, we're gonna run right into Flo's Cafe. It's one of my favorite places. Here you can grab a hamburger, a hot dog, chicken tenders. If you want to be healthy, you can grab a salad, but it's very convenient because you can just walk up here and order whatever you want right out the window. Directly on the other side of the deck, you can get a soft serve ice cream, either in a cone or a cup. And right next to that is frozen treats where you can enjoy a delicious smoothie. Now, if we move straight ahead, we're gonna run right into the drink station. Sodas are free on the Disney Dream, so you can grab a Coke or a Sprite. Now, right underneath the aqueduct is Nemo's Reef. This is where little kids can enjoy splash and playtime. Hey folks, I was wondering if you could help me out and please do me a favor. You've been watching this video for six whole minutes and there is a lot of excellent information to come. So if you could, please give the video a like. Whenever you have a sweet tooth, feel free to come in to Vanellope's and pick a wide range of delicious sweets. Let's take a look at Cabana's, the buffet area. So if we go by Flo's Cafe, right by the pool area, we're gonna go right into Cabana's. This is the buffet area. Also is what's very important to know about the Disney Dream is that the Disney Fantasy is identical to this ship. I'll go ahead and place sailings of both ships down below the description of the video. And check this out, if you wanna book either one, make sure you give us a call. You see, is what we do is we are experts at finding deals. And in addition to finding you amazing deals, we offer exclusive agency discounts. That's right, we've been doing this a long time, folks. And everyone who calls us gets a discount. Just so you know that to get the best rate guaranteed, which is what we offer, you must give us a call because these are unpublished rates. They're not published on our website. Everyone who calls in gets a discount. It's simple and fast. So let's go ahead and take a look at the back of the ship. We're gonna walk right by the basketball court here and take a look at Goofy's Golf. What I like about Goofy's Golf is it goes right around the back of the ship. So while you're playing golf, you have awesome views of the ocean. Many cruise ships have putt-putt golf courses, but not with beautiful panoramic views like this. So if you want to go in and play some sports, you can go into the simulator where they have golf, baseball, basketball, and uh, games like soccer. We're gonna go directly underneath us, drop down a deck, and take a look at Paolo and Remy. So in between Paolo and Remy is Meridian Bar. Meridian Bar is somewhere where you can relax and have a drink, or you can go outside here and have a smoke smoke a cigar. They sell cigars back in Cove Cafe. Let's go ahead and take a look at Paolo. Paolo is Northern Italian cooking. It has a modern twist. Both Remy and Paolo are exclusive for adults. They serve brunch and dinner and both have a dress code. Now Remy over here is the most luxurious dining experience on the Disney Dream. Amazingly, they have a five course dessert. Now going back to the dress code, it is very important that you dress properly or they will not let you in. There is information on the dining down below the description of the video, which has information on the dress code and the pricing. Check out that link when you have a chance. So we are here midship right here in the atrium. The atrium spans three decks. This is where you're gonna walk right on to the ship. Also, this is where you're gonna hang out with all the characters and take the fun pictures and enjoy the greetings. So the main area here in the atrium is on deck three. If we jump up a deck and go to deck four, we'll run right into Vista Cafe. Vista Cafe serves all types of coffee and regular drinks. Keep in mind that up by the pools is Cove Cafe and down here close to the atrium or in the atrium is Vista Cafe. Now check this out. Caddy corner to Vista Cafe across the atrium down a deck is Bon Voyage Bar. If we walk right through Bon Voyage Bar, we're gonna go right through all of the shops. So from the atrium, we're actually making our way from midship to the front of the ship. 
We're gonna go right on through here. This is a popular spot where a lot of photos are taken of the families. And straight all the way up to the front of the ship is the theater. During the day, drop on by for a fun character greeting. At night, come on in and watch entertaining shows such as Beauty and the Beast and Believe. The theater spans two decks. Up here, you'll find balcony seating. The stage is approximately 40 feet wide. It's really neat. It has full flying capabilities for movable backdrops and scenery. It has an amazing projection system for animated scrims and stage lifts. Hey, make sure you download the Disney app so you can get all the show times. Right around the corner is the Buena Vista Theater. Enjoy the latest Marvel, Disney, Pixar, and Star Wars films. Let's head on back through the shops, back toward the atrium, and take a look at guest services. So guest services sits right where you walk in. So when you walk onto the ship, look to the right, you'll see guest services. Let's walk across the atrium. So if we go across the atrium here, we'll walk right into the Royal Palace. The Royal Palace is inspired by classic Disney princess films. The cuisine is French inspired and it's open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. The way the main dining works here on the Disney Dream is that you're gonna alternate among three of the main restaurants. Because what's nice is that your wait staff alternates with you. Let's head on into Animator's Palette. So Animator's Palette is also part of the main dining room. It's one of the dining rooms among which you will rotate. Here you'll enjoy an innovative dinner show. Disney characters come to life right before your eyes. You'll be immersed in underwater Disney Pixar films. You'll even share a conversation with Crush. Let's go ahead and jump up to deck four. So we're gonna go ahead and tour the whole deck. We're gonna go by shutters. Right here is the D Lounge. And then all the way in the back is the district. So let's go ahead and start off with shutters. So this is where you're gonna come to take a look at the screens so that you can see the pictures that the photographers took of you while you were on the ship. Now, if you'd like to know how you can save 15% on those packages, when you give us a call, we will let you know. Let's go ahead and take a look at the district. This is all the way in the back of the ship. Like I was saying before, this is an adult only area. So when you first walk in, there is a cozy bar. You can enjoy live piano and violin music in here. For example, right here is pink. This is the champagne bar. It's pretty cool because it's in the shape of a champagne bottle. This right here is six, seven, eight. Come on in here and relax, watch some sports, play some good old fashioned trivia if you like. Over here is Evolution. This is the dance club. So there will be dance parties at night and there's also game shows in here. This right here is Skyline Bar. Let's jump up to deck 11 and take a look at Census Spa. As soon as you walk in, you go right into the barber shop. Beside that is the salon. The salon has a beautiful view of Castaway K right now. As soon as you walk in, just go right past the counter to the left and you'll go right into the gym. You don't need to check in or anything. Just give them a wave, let them know you're going to the gym and start your workout. Now, if you go into the Rainforest Thermal Suites here, you can relax in the steam room. There are two steam rooms. It just depends on what scent you like more. Also, there is a sauna. When you get out of the sauna, if you like, you can refresh and one of the scented showers rainforest, water fun, or tropical thunder. Now, if we go out here, there are heated seats where you can relax and enjoy the view. There are also hot tubs, which is pretty nice because they're right here on the deck. So these are amazing when you're out at sea. There is an extra charge to hang out here in the thermal suites. However, I got a little trick for you. If you just want to go into the steam room, there is a steam room in the locker room. Right here is the waiting area if you're going to go into the spa and get a massage or a treatment. You can get a couple's massage or go in as a single. This is the Bibbidi Bobbidi Boutique. This is where storybook fantasies come true. Watch the fairy godmother inspired stylist turn your children into elegant princesses. And boys are turned into adventurous sea captains. Let's take a look at Enchanted Garden. This is part of one of the main dining venues. So you'll rotate into this restaurant. 
You can enjoy delicious dining for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. It resembles the foothills of France. Throughout the dinner, the ceiling changes color, and you'll enjoy fun character greetings throughout your meal. Let's check out the concierge lounge. This area is exclusive for guests who are staying in suites. It is rarely busy, so it's semi-exclusive, and they offer food and snacks throughout the cruise. On deck four, you can go outside and walk around the ship. There are places here where you can relax and sit down, or you can use this as the walking and jogging track. This right here is the Edge. The Edge provides kids from 11 to 14 with their own special hangout. It's equipped with high-tech entertainment, it includes flat screen TVs, computers, video games, and guided activities throughout the cruise. An example of one of the activities is a scavenger hunt. Wow, it even has its own elevator. <laughs> Let's take a look at the Vibe. The Vibe provides kids from ages 14 to 17 with their own little place to connect with other teens from around the world. The lounge is packed with amenities and activities. The lounge offers a wide selection of beverages, including fruit, smoothies, and more. Over here, you'll find little pods where kids can curl up and get some private time and relax. Through here, you'll find video games and foosball. If we head on out the door, check this out. The Vibe has its own little sun deck all the way here at the front of the ship. It has two hot tubs, ping pong table, plenty of chairs to relax and chill. And in between the two hot tubs, there is a little pool. So let's go ahead and check out the Oceaneer Lab. We're up here on deck five. The Oceaneer Lab is for children between the ages of three and 12. This is a highly interactive space. Kids will perform amazing experiments and discover many activities. Was what's really cool about the Ocean Air Lab is that the children can either have lunch or dinner or both while you have a chance to relax and enjoy the amenities of the ship. So the Star Wars section was added when they refurbished the ship and it's really cool because kids can come in here and sit in the tables and in the chairs and pretend like they're flying the Millennium Falcon. It's a great idea to check your kids in the first day of the cruise. Remember folks, give us a call for a discounted rate and keep in mind that even if you've already booked directly with the cruise line, you can still give us a call. We can still provide you with a discount. This is Jason here with cruisesit.com. I hope you enjoyed the tour. Have a wonderful day.